Hi there. I'm gonna share a few secrets about how you winnow chaff from seed today. And we'll start off uh, with some basil seed that I, first off, I took off the stem and threshed. And then this uh, material, this chaff and seed, which the seed is in there. And if you don't know, see that's basil seed there. I just did a little winnowing with my breath. But I ran this through just some simple hand screens like this. Uh, this one still has a whole bunch of seed, marigold seed stuck in it. But um, these are simple ones. We sell uh, seed cleaning screens that are really nice on our website. Uh, I Traditionally, winnowing was done using the wind. And the wind is great, except it's not very consistent. So using a fan, I have a heavy duty commercial one here but a lot of folks just have a, a simple box fan. You know, this is $20 and this totally gets the job done. You want a fan, I use a, a variety of bins. These are the medium depth Rubbermaid tubs. I like them, I, I use three. You can see I have a sheet down here. So in case I spill, I don't lose all that hard work of growing the plant, letting it go to seed, harvesting it, and getting it to this point by uh, miscalculating the wind. And I've set up the height here of this little piano bench to be above here, because you can imagine this is gonna create a column of air. And what I'm going to try and do is take this material and I'm aiming for a location right about here and I'll demonstrate it soon. But I want a second receptacle to catch any of the light seed or let's say I have the fan speed on a little too high. It's just a good safety mechanism. It also gives you a visual of what are you winnowing off of your material. So typically with all seed cleaning, it's alternating be after you thresh it, you're alternating between screening and winnowing, screening and winnowing. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show those steps and you'll see we'll go from, you know, material that it's really hard to tell. It just basically looks like compost. And this is a Thai basil. I wish you could smell this. It smells incredible. Um, but they haven't figured that out yet on the, no matter how much technology we have, no smells yet. Um, so I'm gonna go and turn on my fan. Most fans have multiple settings. It's really good to start at a low setting uh, and see, it depends on the, the density of your seed. So pretty much winnowing, we're working with seed density, but also air dynamics and some seeds have like wings on them almost and they the predictability with which they winnow in front of a fan is more difficult so every variety you'll use the same basic steps every species of screening and winnowing but there's little fine things so as i demonstrate this you'll see it looks really simple but there's a lot of nuance there so again i'm i'm shaking the material down into the corner and what i'm aiming to do is pour out of the corner here to basically create a spout of material. I'm holding it above so you can see this space, there's wind moving through here. I wanna have a little bit of room here, uh, just basically to for my body and to be moving around. Uh, this is just how I do it. So without further ado, gently shaking. Some people will tap, I shake. So, and you're gonna have to do this more than once. So there we go. And what I usually do the first pass is I look at this material and I kind of ask myself, did any seed go in there? And sure enough, there is some seed in there, um, but it's it's lighter colored. Let's see if I can actually make that visible. It's like there's one, it blew off. So what you're winnowing off isn't just chaff, but immature seed that's lighter. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch my empty for my full. You can see I overlap them a little bit. So in case seeds, if I have them just right next to each other, some things will fall in between there, I'll lose it. So this is a really easy way I've learned to do it um, that averts losing that. So yeah, another little shake winnow. And I'll just focus on doing a few steps of this and you'll see really quick that we get bunch of the light material, sticks and maybe those brownish parts that are blowing off, those are the seed capsules. Um, technically speaking, botanically, those are the, uh, the, 
calyxes and the bracts. And pretty much most of the flower petals from the basil, those, those dried off in the field and fell to the ground. So we've got you know, flower parts and seed and some sticks. So go back and forth a little bit here. And then now I'm not watching as much material. I'm gonna do one more like that, um, blow off. So after I do this pour, I'm going to put it through a, what I call a number 12 screen, which I have right here. And turn off the fan. And as it turns out, the low speed is just about right for this basil seed is fairly small. Um, so this is 12 wires per inch. Um, and so I'm going to pour this material over there. And if you can see here, there's a lot of seed in there. And basil, good basil seed is black. You can still see some reddish seed in there. And, you know, like these bracts. But oftentimes, these ones that didn't winnow off, you can see they didn't get threshed entirely. And you can see as I just rub them, there's some black seeds in there. So they're heavy. So even though this stuff looks like chaff, there's seed in these little capsules. So a winnow, I mean a screen, and you can hear all that seed falling down there. So, you know, that's a lot of seed in there, but this material on top still has some seed in it. So it's gonna require a little bit, you can rub it like this. If you've got good screens, you can do this. And this is, I'm actually having to, kind of thresh this last portion, but I know it had seed in it, so it's worth doing this step. And a lot of the winnowing screening is, it's a recursive process where you just have to keep going back and forth, back and forth, depending on how clean you're aiming to get the seed. So here, just so you get the point of it. I'm just gonna shake that and I can save this material. I can come back to that later. So it's good to have some bins. I'm gonna turn the fan back on and we'll win, winnow this and we'll get down to you know, overlap. Still see some light chaff blowing off. So if I do that a few more times, we will get to Mostly pure seed. So here is where some finesse and nuance comes in, in terms of basically I see there's a range here from pouring here to if I pour right here, more material will blow off. So even though it may seem really simple what I'm doing, uh, I've been doing this for almost 30 years. So I've learned kind of how much to shake where to pour my own techniques. There's other people that use different techniques, but that's just how I've learned and it, it seems to work for me. And I hope it works for you. Here, we'll go over this screen one more time and I bet you we'll be able to capture some more of that chaff. So see that's, and again, I'm gonna save that. There might be some seed in there too. Another winnow. Getting seed 95% clean is not that hard. That last 5% can take a long time. But you'll see if you're a gardener or a homesteader or small scale farmer and you're just looking to save some of your own seed, you can see how in that brief amount of time that's good enough. You could put that in a bag. You could bring that to a seed swap. It, further winnowing, you can see some of those lighter colored seeds. Those will be less viable. So I'm going to take the time to continue to winnow this and get it down to perfectly pure seed. But that's, that's pretty good. Clean some beet seed here just to give you a glimpse of something that's a little bigger. So this is uh, three root Grex beet. It's got leaves and stems and probably some weeds in there and stuff. So this has already gone through a screen and been threshed. So we'll see how clean we can get it. So this one, the seed's a little larger. I'm gonna run it on medium to start off because the seed's heavier. And again, the kind of shake shimmy. You can see 
see all that. Usually your first few pours, there's a lot of material because all that leaf and dust is very light. pick some of these stems out so they're not in the way. So beets, like many other plants, they make seeds of different sizes. So I'm looking through here, my chaff that blew off, and I can see some small uh, poorly formed seeds. I don't want those. Those aren't going to grow into be nice plants. So you're going to have to lose a little bit of your low quality seed to get your high quality seed clean. You know, so you can see, for instance, here's, here's an example of, you know, a smaller seed. Like that's a beet seed. That would grow a beet. But in order to get the, uh, the rest of it clean, I've got to, whereas compare that to what I've got there already after a few uh, winnows. It's pretty clean seed. Again, if you were just put that in a bag, it's it's good enough for most people's use. Uh, but I'll go ahead and do a few more pours because pretty much dense, large seed is going to be the most vigorous. So it will sprout and make a stronger seedling, and that plant will grow more robustly than a small seed that's lighter. So that's what we're doing here with winnowing is we're working with density because you can imagine something that's heavier falls more quickly and isn't as likely to be blown off. I want to mention one real fine point here that I failed to mention before is the way these tubs are, are made. There's these little shelves. So you can see as I start to pour, it's coming out that front spout. But now see, look at all these guys that got stuck up here, there. Those ones might fall out here and they're good seeds and blow off. So periodically you wanna, see how I just shook all those seeds down back into the corner. It's a fine point if you're using a different manufacturer of bin, that may not be an issue. I know most of us who are in the seed trade, we like these Rubbermaid ones because they're sturdy and they're made of a more pliable plastic than like Sterilite. And again, nobody's paying me to say this, but uh, as far as I know, no one likes the Sterilite tubs because they're brittle. And if you throw them around, they tend to crack. So, but you got to watch out for that little shelf on these Rubbermaid tubs. So I'm doing that again. But I'll go ahead and turn off the fan now and we can see how, how this looks. So that's, that's beautiful. You know, I've still got a few stems in there and sticks. And sometimes you do have to hand pick uh, out some material if you want to get to perfectly pure seed. But that's, you can see the power of the wind. We were able to get that seed looking really nice. Beet seed. So hopefully you learned something there. We'll probably do a follow-up of some other hard to clean small flower seeds and um, see our other companion videos that go along with this so you can be saving your own seed and growing better vegetables, flowers, and herbs for you and your family and friends. Oslan was eating the seed back in the background. <laughs> Ozzy, what are you doing? <laughs>